wife helped me uh, get this turd pulled over here in the shade under the big tree. It's a little hot out, a little toasty, so any shade is nice. Gonna see if we can get this old girl to run. It's been sitting for shit, I don't know. There's no tabs on it, but it, it's been a minute. My best guess is at least 20 years, probably closer to 30. Um, gonna stick a battery in it. Gotta change the key cylinder out, and we'll see if we can get it turned over first. And then, uh, yeah, see if we can get it to run. Okay, battery's in, fuel's disconnected. Let's see if we can get it to turn over. I already uh, swapped out the key cylinder because I didn't get a key with the truck. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, that's good. It's an old Chevy and it turns over. It will run. It may not run well, but it will run. Mark my words. Let's see. Let's get her some fuel. I just took the air cleaner off. I noticed there is no coil. So, um... It ain't gonna run until we put one of those in it. So, uh, guessing they just probably pulled it out to demobilize the truck. Um, that's kind of where we got a bunch of tape back there on spark plug wires. Who knows what these guys are doing? Those are all hooked up. So, uh, I'll find a coil and uh, see what we got. I knew I have one right here. All right, I got a good used coil hooked up. Uh, I actually swapped out the points because uh, they were uh, burnt looking. And uh, let's throw a little more gas down here and try this again. Let's see what she does. Come on, bitch. Probably gotta adjust the door. All right, didn't want to start at first. But I just gave the dwell a quick little adjust, had the wife help me turn it over and got it to where it's close. So let's get some more gas in here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. Come on, old girl. We wanted to idle. Hell yeah. And I said 40 years because I did actually just find this. Look at this. 83 on the Oregon plate. This truck was parked when it was just 15 years old. Sat for the last 40 years. And it shows. Look how straight tailgate is. Straight bed floor. It's just rusty. Sat by the coast. It's got that sweaty, you know, from the inside out coastal rust in a lot of areas. You know, the pinch welds and the panels in between and whatnot. The tier's in great shape. Only had 15 years of the use, use on it. Sweet. Okay, I get fuel hooked up and let's get it driving. All right, I know the tank's shot after sitting for all these years, so I'm going to unhook the fuel pump from the normal tank and hook up a little temporary tank. Fuck, the hose is fucking stuck on there. There it goes. Okay. Okay, got a new little line hooked up and uh, hopefully the fuel pump works. Hers like a kitten. It never shut off. Yeah, it's almost pretty close actually. Nice truck. Thanks. What year is it? Yeah. Cool. Did you get me right home? I guess. Yes. How are the brakes? I can't we're running on a hill. Go ahead. Right, hurry up. How are the brakes? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you took too long. You got it.
Hey guys, work on 69K10 this morning, doing a little bit of brake work. Thought I'd do a little video and show you guys what was going on. But uh, yeah, Olga runs pretty good, but it's got no brakes. So I know the master is bad. So I got a new one of those. I'm gonna put that on and go from there. But uh, yeah, I did come up with this little tool I wanna share with you guys. So I got the new master here on the bench and I'm bench bleeding it before putting it on. This is what I came up with. It's just uh, some spare parts. This is the uh, brake rod off of a manual brake truck, 67 to 72. So this will just barely poke out outside of a firewall. And this will be mounted right to the firewall in a manual brake truck. So this is what we go in there and push on the, you know, master cylinder for your brakes. But I took it off of a, um, you know, pedal assembly and I threaded on an MP205 shift knob because it was the same 716 fine thread. So it makes this something a little easier to hold on to than a screwdriver and a little softer on the palm of your hand. And you can just uh, pump away and get it bled and get it stuck on. But uh, yeah. That was kind of a cool little trick. Should submit to Snap-on. They'll start making one just like it. But uh, yeah, um, got some used tires for it. I think these ones are more square than they are around. So I'll try to get those put on today too. And uh, yeah, some side mirrors and get this baby all road ready. Get it ready for the Grand Prix. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Headlight. Other than that, she's cherry.